All right, my friends, this is Monday morning, October 11th, 2021. I hope you had a fantastic weekend and were able to recharge your batteries as you anticipated the work week that you had waiting for you. Uh, it could be that you spent the last several days uh, milling over and uh, reassessing, reevaluating some of the involvements, the relationships, the associations you have in your life, and, and you're asking yourself if you need to jettison any cargo because you're trying to move in a positive direction. You don't need things weighing you down. You don't need things that are bad for you. And um, so you're thinking about cutting ties, right? That's how we, that's the terms we, we think in, right? We're going to cut ties. But did you know that cutting ties where you don't need to is actually quite injurious? There are some, there are some affiliations, some relationships that are so damaging that the only thing you can do is amputate or eviscerate them. I get that. But there are other times that, uh, that you might be too quick to cut a tie that you don't need to. I'm going to give you a different way of thinking about this that might prove to be quite helpful and beneficial to you in the long run. There's a, a 17th and 18th century French essayist named Joseph Joubert who had six words to say, and they were this right here. Never cut what you can untie. Never cut what you can untie. Like I said, some things need to be cut off, but if something can be untied, in other words, just, just gradually eased off, gracefully backed off, and just unraveled slowly and let them just kind of come apart by themselves and just lay it aside and let it just stay there. You don't necessarily have to be involved with it so much, but just, just back away from it a little bit instead of just bringing down the axe and chopping it off. When you cut ties, you are severing things interminably in a lot of cases. And, and even if you try to tie them back together by putting knots in them, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. And you'd be surprised how life changes things and life changes people. You, know, you don't know as much about life as you think you do. You don't have a crystal ball, I'm assuming. And things develop in ways that you just couldn't imagine. Sometimes it's rapid. Sometimes it takes longer. And then, you know, you run back into people or, or people or associations that you had and you think to yourself, well, it doesn't look so bad now. I think they're actually good. They're useful. But I can't do anything with them anymore. I can't benefit from them. It doesn't mean that you can't get your life together, but you might be filled with some immeasurable regret. I know it's happened to me. It's probably happened to you. So start thinking about things differently. Rather than cutting a tie, slowly untie it. Just let it unravel, come apart, and lay it aside for a time. You can involve yourself as little or as, or as much as you want. You have to use your own wisdom. But um, understand that it might be beneficial for you to think about it in this way. Let me know your thoughts. Share with me uh, how this has uh, room in, uh, how this has uh, um, re you know resonated with you. That's the word I'm trying to think of. Let me know how this has resonated with you, and um, if, and if this is something that you're already privy to, explain to me how this has worked out in your life and and uh, been good for you and the people around you, guys. I hope it's been helpful. I've enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Be wise.